Let's talk about the media for a minute and Dr. Fauci, who now, in addition to having his own action hero, has his own documentary. Um, this is now being released by uh, National Geographic. And apparently, you know, you go to the Rotten Tomatoes thing. The experts, you know, the sort of the review reviewers, the critics. Yes, yes. Uh, 91%. Yes. The audience score, 4%. <laughs> Four percent. We've got a little bit of the trailer. Let's watch it. Can't take everything seriously because then you'll start thinking that you're something that you're not. I grew up in a somewhat tough neighborhood in Brooklyn. The culture is that you didn't get intimidated by a lot of things. When COVID hit, he became this target. My dad said, we're going to get through this whole thing. And he's held back. We're seeing upticks again and nobody's hearing from you. I don't understand the hate that people have. We heard about what he went through in the HIV AIDS pandemic, like seeing signs, Fauci's a murderer. And I remember asking him, like, is this actually what it was like? His response was, you can't even compare the two. Fauci says, here are the facts, and here's my recommendation for a way forward. He becomes the size of the challenge he faces each time. If you're a public servant, you don't do it because you want to make money. You don't do it for the glory. You do it because you care. And that is when Nelson Mandela left. Oh, wait, no, we're talking about (laughs) the music. (laughs) I mean, it's a little over the top, but so indicative of how the media writ large feels about him. Megan, I honestly could have barfed during that. Look, I, I'm not saying he's a bad man. I really am not. And and dealing with everything we've dealt with in the last two years, it's like this is tough stuff. It's tough not only to understand the science, but then to communicate it. We also don't, as you know, we don't have an honest media that allows any real information to get out there. We're all trying to destroy each other. I get that the whole thing is a freaking mess. But Fauci at this point, first off, he's the highest paid person in the federal government. Did you know that? Over 400 grand a year. Mm -hmm. He's obviously made a ton of money doing this. He goes on every Sunday show and is treated like a god. He's got comic books and uh, cartoon figures and all of these things. So let's not pretend that this is purely some selfless thing. Everyone has some level of an ego. The way they frame that there, that, you know, he's under attack and he does it just because he's good. Well, he's the same guy who at the height of the pandemic, when the emails were released, was telling his friend that wanted to go on vacation, yeah, masks don't do anything, while the same week he was telling everyone to wear masks. Or he would say, you know, when you wear a mask, actually, it could be worse because you touch your face more, but then he'll also tell them to double mask. Or he'll say, just the, we covered it on my show a day or two ago, you know, thanks uh, for Halloween, you should get out there and you know it should be a time to talk about covid so i guess we're allowed to touch candy from all the strangers and be out there but then we'll think about what you can do for christmas so this has all been screwy but you know i don't know that your your radio audience isn't gonna be able to see this megan did they send you one of these uh you know what they reached out to my my people and we did not accept that yeah we, it, Dave is holding so a we, huge Fauci Disney slash Nat Geo. Um, it's basically a swag bag. It's a box for people to watch it's Fauci a gift box. and promote it. And Megan, you're not going to believe what's in here. I unbox this thing. People love unboxing on, on uh, YouTube. Now, one of the things, Megan, you know, is that uh, obesity and being overweight and diabetic is one of the prime comorbidities with COVID, yet that didn't stop them from sending a big box of candy <laughs> from Dylan's Candy Bar. Look at this, we you got your gummy bears. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there, now I can you, see it. Yeah, you, there we go, we're yeah, in the, yeah, we're there, in the light perfect. there. We got your- Oh, it's yeah, a panoply of color, and, oh. sugar. Yeah, Sour Patch Kids, all of it. Then, of course, you've got your your Fauci mask because you have to have a Fauci mask. This is my personal favorite one, and I'm gonna send this one to you, Megan. The Fauci fanny pack. <laughs> Would you wear that? Come on. I don't need Fauci on my pack. fanny. No, thank you. Well, let me tell you this. My, you the, my team's right up of this. popcorn. It doesn't It doesn't. Oh, my stop. gosh. Uh, and no membership to SoulCycle. At the onset of the documentary, mm. uh, they feature criticism of Fauci, almost exclusively from Fox News. And Fauci makes a snarky remark, quote, I represent something that's uncomfortable to them. It's called truth. <laughs> I mean, the unwillingness of people to challenge. Now, I guess the film does make comment. uh, How could they not on his most public reversal on you don't need a mask? And then, oh, yes, you do need a mask, which his noble lie to protect us um, from ourselves because he wanted us not to buy uh, the equipment and keep it for the medical 
person uh, personnel. He didn't believe that we could understand mm-hmm. that and follow it. But not only that, but he's lied about, you know, the numbers on herd immunity. And he's admitted to that. It wasn't like an evolving. Wait, it wasn't 70 percent. Maybe it's 80. It, it's 80. I'm sorry. I was wrong about 70. Now it's 80. Now it's 85. Now it's 90. He admitted to The New York Times. I nudged it. As soon as I saw that attitudes were changing a little on it, I knew I could nudge it up a little bit more. I could nudge it up yep. more. Yep. Is that honest? His his story to Rand Paul about no gain of function uh, research being performed that was funded by his group. I, 100% was, and that's been really proven by this point. And on and on it goes. But for some reason, he's he's their man. He's their action figure. And it's the same thing that makes them put him on their mask and now on their fanny is the thing that makes my kid have to wear a mask in school, even though there's no science to support it. No science to support it, period. And again, there's great through lines at the show today, Megan. Your guys did a great job because, again, this is like how long will we all participate in the lie? How long can people, the expert class, get so many things wrong? By the way, I'm willing to allow people to get things wrong. I get things wrong. You get things wrong. But how long can they completely flip-flop on every big thing and just move the goalposts? Remember two weeks to flatten the curve? Why don't we Mm. even talk about Uh. that? What happened to the curve? What, what right. happened to the curve? We're almost right. two years later. And then we used to talk about her, herd immunity. Notice we don't talk about that anymore because now it's what Biden said. 98% of Americans will have to be vaccinated. And he also said that once you get vaccinated, you can take your mask off and do whatever you want. But then it turned out, oh, you can't do that because now vaccinated people are getting it. I know several people. I have two cousins right now with COVID. They just got it yesterday who are not politically aligned with me. They are big lefties, COVID people, mask people, vaccinated people, uh, and they both have COVID now. And a lot of people that I know in the last two months, almost everyone that I know in the last, say, two or three months that has gotten COVID has been vaccinated. I don't know anyone unvaxxed that's got COVID. That's not, I'm not giving a scientific study right there, but I do think our what we know in our personal lives has some value and everything is up for debate right now, but we're, we're seemingly not allowed to talk about these things.